One of the things that I found aggravating about KiCad is that if you have a circuit with some regularity in it, with some repeated subcircuits, you don't really benefit from that regularity when you when it comes time to do the layout. So in this case here, I have a, this is an LED driver. We have some uh, shift registers. And then here I have a number of subcircuits for driving the high side and the low side. And there's really only two designs. There is low and high side. So if we go inside one of these, it's just a transistor and two resistors. And then for the other one, it is simply a, a transistor with one resistor. Still, when I get to the when I get to the layout side, the PCB side, in KiCad normally you have to place all of them by hand and you have to connect between all of them by hand. To solve this problem, I have come up with some scripting in uh, Python, which PCB new supports now. It is not yet available in e schema. About two pages here, depending on your font size, I suppose. So with this scripting, I'm able to lay out one of them and then have it replicated uh, across the other ones. So let me demonstrate. So here we have the circuit. So here I have a very bad and not complete layout of the transistors, resistors, transistor resistors for the high and low. I've even created some uh, routing to go between some of the internal nets. And then if I bring up the Python uh, interface, then I run my script. So then it finishes there. Let's redraw. So now notice here that all of the subsequent uh, arrays or subsequent members of the array are, uh, are now the same as the first one. The reason that this works is that KiCad remembers which sheet each of the devices came from. So if you lay out one of them and you tell them which one you laid out, then it can then go, go and find the other sheets and the corresponding uh, devices within that sheet. So in this case, I started with Q5 and Q1. And so then here at the beginning, or at the end of the script here, I put Q1 and Q5. Uh, place instances is the function that does all of the work. Uh, in terms of routing, it will only do the internal nets. So in, in that case here, we enter here. This here is an internal net. This is internal net. Ground, output low, and input signal, those are not internal nets. So those are not replicated. If you look in the description down below, I have a pointer to a GitHub where the script is. So hopefully it can be useful to you. And if it is, please let me know.